Show me how Scopify works. Well, each object is identified with a, uh, with a particular uh, QR code. So you take the QR code, you, you scan. It was Robert Lang's Toronto-based company that created this app for museums. Periscope is a kind of a fun one because you're, I think, about 30 feet down from the head yeah. and uh, you really can't see it very well. Lang came up with the idea after producing documentaries on museums. He observed how people used existing apps. They'd be walking around these amazing institutions with their heads down like this, looking at their mobile app or mo looking at their mobile phone. And they were in these amazing spaces. I thought there's something wrong with that picture, that you're in this great place, but your head is in a screen. That got him brainstorming about a better way to engage visitors. So we came up with this idea to scope objects, basically use the mobile device as a scope that would allow you to see stuff that you wouldn't ordinarily see when you came into the museum. There'd be no way you could see it because you've got a skeleton here. Users can animate a display to see it in action. You want to skin this, this uh, skeleton? Let's skin the skeleton. Add skin to a skeleton to see what it would have looked like alive. Let's x-ray. So we'll do x-ray. And then we can take this and you see the, wait a minute, you see what's inside. The x-ray scope and the periscopes give you a view you would never otherwise see. So this is the Larnax coffin and you can sco you scope that and you decide that okay, we're doing a periscope and we go whoa right over the thing and then we take off the top and you see what was inside. Like it's hard not to have an oh my god kind of reaction. It's very cool. The ROM's Courtney Murphin worked with Kensington for two years to develop the app. She says museums today have to adapt to their visitors' expectations, particularly around their ever-present devices. The audience that we're catering to now is growing up in a different age than the audience we catered to 20 years ago, 10 years ago. So I'm going to scan. Her favorite object to scopify? the dodo bird, often portrayed as a clumsy, dumb creature. We all think we know what a dodo was like. It's this dumb, cumbersome, sauntering kind of bird. You see it in cartoons. But then you see a, a more academic view of what it could have looked like when it was alive. And it just blows your misconceptions out of the water. Murfin says going beyond the wow factor was a priority. It's not just just doing cool things on cool objects. It's doing them in a way that highlights the curatorial work that goes into it and helps understand why these are valuable pieces. The app provides additional information about the objects, knowledge gathered and proven by the museum's curators. If you want that information, you can press the button and you can get more information about it to make sense of what you've just seen. So you can go to whatever depth and uh, understanding uh, you want or you can just kind of do it for fun.